Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Such an exciting news today. We have the trailer of season two of Wheel of Time. And I'm going to react to the trailer. Uh, quickly before I react to the trailer, I just want to sum up my thoughts of what I thought about season one. Season one was kind of an okay, it, it, it was kind of a dicey season for me uh i was expecting more but then i don't want to accuse the makers of you know making a sh bad show it was not a bad show at all um for people who are new to this wheel of time world they would have enjoyed it um well enough but i also understand that now that i have reached book four i've finished book four i'm going to start book five so now that i'm more into the fandom and uh, actually understanding uh the series much better i understand the point of view of the fans uh, or the majority of fans who were not happy with season one so i can also understand you know their feedbacks much better now for me it was kind of a average uh, season i loved some episodes others not as much uh overall i did like uh many many characters especially i love rand i love matt i'm looking forward to the new actor who will be portraying matt's role matt is my favorite character in the book as well i also think that uh there were some things that they really got right there were some things that they did not. I had in detail described my thoughts and feelings about Wheel of Time Season 1 in my discussions with my dear friend Kiran, who also has a YouTube channel, No Breeders. So um, I don't want to elaborate much here. So again, uh, I'm really excited for Season 2. I hope they have taken some feedbacks from the disappointed fans and, you know, try to make some positive changes and make the show better and better because that's what all of us want a brilliant show i think i have talked enough so now let's get into the trailer okay here we go everyone has a choice and every choice has a consequence i'm bigger than my body we didn't defeat the dark one we set him free No one should have that much power. Bigger than these okay, so not so bad. Look at that! Together we face the impossible. But now in our separate corners of the world. Rand, guiding him, that is the only thing that matters. You can't control him. You know you have something inside you. Something that calls for blood. I want to know how to control it. The last battle's coming. The whole world will be ours. If our friends are in trouble, why would they ever stay here? You have no conception of the power they need. You can't do this by yourself. Avienda? Okay. There are many paths to walk through the night. It's not always the most powerful who write history. It's the ones who survive. I'm tired of being a spoke in the wheel. Spoke boy, you are the water that turns the wheel itself. I like that. You're the water that turns the wheel. Okay, a lot to unpack there. So, to start with, can we just say how amazing Rand looks? Okay, season one was fine. I mean, in the sense, Rand was Rand, you know. I don't know. I didn't feel that I was more into Lan, as you know. But Rand, in at least what we have seen in this trailer, 
all of a sudden he looks hotter. Uh, I hope people agree with me, but I really like uh, Rand here. Uh, Matt, the new Matt looks okay because we didn't get to see much of him. I really want to see more of Ferran because we know we get a lot of Ferran in book two and book three. I really like the fact that they uh, went with colors for the weaves, which acts a whole new dimension. So I, I really like that. Um, also, I'm wondering why Rand and Loghain are already meeting because I'm in book four. I just finished book four, right? So I don't know. Even so far, you know, so far in the uh, in the series, I do not see that. Uh, so it's kind of weird that uh, Rand is asking Loghain uh, tips for how to handle the power, right? Just Going by the trailer, I think they're trying to make this show more and more dark, uh, which is okay. Those are some things that I wanted to share with you before I rewatch the trailer. So let's watch the trailer once again. Uh, again, spoiler free. I'll not give any spoilers. Um, I think it's fun to keep it spoiler free so that everybody can watch till the end. So let's go again. Everyone has a choice. And every choice has a consequence. I'm bigger than my body. You know, when it comes to this music, I initially did not like it, but yeah, when I'm listening it again, listening to it again, and the lyrics, it's kind of matches, right? Uh, uh, about I'm bigger than my monsters, uh, I'm bigger than my demons. So I think the lyrics somehow matches with the mood, but the music itself doesn't match, and even the voice, I think it's kind of too. You know, in the higher notes, it's kind of upbeat. I don't know, but overall, it could have been better. Uh, and this is the first time I came to know about the singer, Haley. So, uh, just a quick thought about music there. We didn't defeat the Dark One. We set him free. The Forsaken, I like that, how they have shown Forsaken. But I'm wondering... <laughs> if they are naming him already or not. So, again, I cannot speak much. How cool is that shot? I initially thought that was Nynaeve, but it's Egwene, right? It's Egwene, right? Yeah. No one should have that much power. Bigger than these these also, can I say how much I love the fact that they went with the decision to make the weaves colored? That really adds another dimension, another depth to the whole scene. I like it and it makes the screen more colorful, right? So, I like it. I liked it. In fact, I wanted this in season one itself, but it, it's fine. Never too late. This is my favorite scene. I'm wondering what this is, but... From what I see on the right side of the screen, you can see somebody standing there. And I'm assuming it's the Forsaken that's shown earlier. And if this is the Forsaken, then I have a good idea who this would be. Ah, I can't speak without spoilers, but I think this is somebody who's, whose name ends with an R. That's what I can say. These are the Sianchans. I really like them. They do seem intimidating. You're, they look like people whom you don't want to mess with. Together we face the impossible. So that's the initiation, right? This one. So they have the arch, they have to pass through, and all those thing happens, dream walking and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see that. Yeah. Together we face the impossible. But now in our separate corners of the world. The scene, guys, like this is explosive. I don't like it and I don't like her. And uh yeah. I just don't like the scene. No, no, Rand. I we need to protect our boy at any cost. 
Protecting Ra- You know what? This seed, guys. This seed, guys. I don't know how they transformed Rand from this, you know, okay looking boyish guy into this. How did they do that? How did you do that, Amazon? Like, he looks hot in here. And we are thankful for that. <laughs> Not complaining. Uh, you have this very serious, smoldering look on him. And I think this is the place where he's, you know, trying to figure out everything by its own. And he wants to control the power. And um, he is, you know, moving away from Moraine maybe a little bit, keeping his distance and being on his own and uh, doing his own things. And the weight of his responsibility that comes with his power is you know he's trying to understand that and he it, it's trying to it, it's, it's dawning on him i think this actor really upped his game in season two really really and or he was already a great actor but he didn't have a chance to do that in season one maybe but season two i think it will be all about rand i think Protecting Rand, guiding him, that is the only thing that matters. You can't control him. This one. Oh, oh my God. I didn't see this earlier. See, through, so you have this weave, which is golden in color. But then you have these black ones. And look at his face. He is really intense here, I think. That's if if it, if they have done that, then they have done it well. That they have incorporated the taint. If this is the taint, and if I'm not over reading it, they have done a good job, and it was a great decision to do that. Rand has really upped his game. Yeah. You know you have something inside you. The parent scenes are really I really want to see. Uh, you know, how he's trying to figure out his power and how to control that. Uh, that's one thing that I really enjoyed in the book, so I'm really looking forward to watching in the show as well. Something I call oh, this is the only scene that we get about Matt. So, I, I, I'm not sure about the actor. I'm hoping he has done a great job, but Matt is my favorite character, so dear actor, do not screw it up for me. I want to know how to control it. Logan looks, yeah, disoriented, exactly like how he's supposed to. And, uh, but I'm kind of wondering why Logan and Rand are already meeting in season two. Because I just finished book four, going to book five, and why is this scene happening in season two? I'm kind of confused. I don't know whether I like it or not. Not yet. The last battle's coming. There are so many things that I want to talk about, but I cannot because of spoilers. But yeah, so that's why I'm just going through them without pausing. The whole world will be ours. That's... I love this. So that part where... Part with parent running around with the child, I think this could be again kind of a memory, not memory, mm, imagination. Yeah. If our friends are in trouble, why would they ever stay here? You have no conception of the power they need. You can't do this by yourself. At the end, you have no conception of the power they need. You can't do this by yourself. Ah, oh, I can't. I'd ever stay here. You have no conception of the power they need. You can't do this by yourself. This one. Oh my god. That is definitely Aviande. She is amazing. I love her. She is my favorite, favorite character. Uh, when I'm progressing through the book in book four. And uh, she is super cool. Kick ass. Check her out. Is that Kerhain? Where are they? There are many paths to walk through the night. It's not always the most powerful who write history. 
Rand is all topless and yeah, and hot. You know, he's showing off all of a sudden. He knows he's hot. Look at that. Again, topless. It's the ones who survive. This is a great scene. I like the music here as well. I'm tired of being a spoke in the wheel. You're not a spoke boy. You are the water that turns the wheel itself. Overall thoughts, it's after watching second time, I kind of like the music, but it could have been definitely been better. Uh, but I don't have much knowledge about music and stuff like that, so I'm not getting into it much. But I feel that overall the music could have been much more deeper, darker, you know, more ominous. You know what I mean? Overall, the trailer did not hype me up much. It could have been better. I hope there's another trailer coming and uh, I cannot wait for September. And uh, I will continue my journey with the uh, Wheel of Time. It's book number five. And uh, soon you will have content related to Wheel of Time book number five in my channel. Let me know what you thought about the trailer. Go bonkers. Don't hold back. Just your honest feedback on what you think about the trailer. And uh, yeah, we'll, I will see you soon. Another video. This is Angie signing off. Bye-bye.